Hello everyone, MP Hater here, and welcome back to my new Carver's Guide to Dark Souls Remastered. This is part 25. So in the previous episode, we ended up wrapping out the Great Hollow as well as Ash Lake. We killed a Black Hydra. We also finished off Sig Myers and his daughter's quest. And in the process, we ended up getting a bunch of humanity that I want to go ahead and spend. So I don't like running around with this much humanity on me, and it's a good time for us to go ahead and take a stroll over to the Abyss. Now, yeah, I recommend that you do this before you end the game, because, again, otherwise you'll have to wait to meet Kate again. And I recommend for your second playthrough that you do the other ending and the other uh, Serpent's bidding. So, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to enter his covenant again. You can also do it back at the bonfire, of course, if you want to, behind us. But in this case, just talk to him. And we're going to go ahead and enter covenant and offer him humanity. Now, I want to basically complete his covenant at this stage because if we don't complete his covenant and we end up abandoning the covenant again, we actually will end up losing uh, progress in that covenant. And the same thing happens for all the covenants. If you leave a covenant before you've gotten everything, or even if you have uh, gotten everything, you will lose um, about half of your actual progress. So, I'm going to go ahead and offer him... Uh, oops, I did not mean to do just one... Uh, I'll go ahead and give him everything I've got. Once you give him 10, by the way, uh, he will give you an uncracked version of the Red Eye Orb. And this allows you to invade uh, other people's games. Again, really important for multiplayer. And he needs 9 more, so I'm going to go ahead and do 9 more. And that's going to get him up to 30. So if you got 30 humanity to give him, go ahead and do it now. And this will basically get all of the rewards for this particular covenant. Now, if you want to, you can also continue to participate in the covenant. You can do more invasions. You can also uh, uh, take people's humanity if you want to as well. But we've gotten all of the gear that we can get from him at this point in the game. Uh, in addition, I like to run around with 10 humanity so that I can maximize my chances of getting drops. I'm also right now uh, equipping the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, though once we get the Silver Covetous Serpent Ring, or the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, sorry, generally I start equipping that to increase my soul uh, gains. And then whenever I'm explicitly doing farming, I'll switch out Ornstein's helmet for the Symbol of Avarice in order to do that. That being said, we're going to go ahead and equip the Sunlight Maggot as well, because we're about to head to the Tomb of the Giants, which is very, very dark. And to get there, we have to go to the catacombs first. So if you do not have the Sunlight Maggot, again, to get this, you have to have been following along with Solaris Quest. Uh, then if you have Cast Light, which is a miracle, you can use that in order to illuminate the area around you. The other option is going to be using the Skull Lanterns that we have been uh, collecting. Uh, we got one from the... Um, Pyromancers in this place, the catacombs. So kill all of them and you're guaranteed to get one. Otherwise, though, we're basically heading to the same place that we fought Pinwheel. So if you have not gotten it yet, you can take this path against the wall for a soul item. This also actually is the way out of this place if you want to exit this place. Otherwise, though, we're going to go ahead and head down. And there's going to be several of these coffins that we're going to use to traverse down. So take that one down. We've got a large skeleton enemy. Don't worry, we're going to get those items here in a little bit, for now. Just go down. Come around the corner here. For a soul item. Roll down here, 
We got another one. Actually, I got two of them. So again, I recommend jump attacks against these guys at this point. And then we're going to follow this path. And there's an item right there. We want to kind of hug this right wall here as we go down so that we can control our fall. And that'll get us a humanity. So here we got our old friend Patches, and he is going to actually end up kicking us down into the hole here. So uh, before we do anything with that, we're going to go ahead and head over here. Take the path down here, and we're going to grab a bonfire. So heading back up, talk to him again if you haven't already, and then step out over here, and he's going to knock you into the hole. So we got a few items here. We got two large soul items, and we also have another skull lantern. So uh, we're actually going to end up trading one of these skull lanterns to uh, Snuggly, the NPC, and once we do that, we'll get a uh, item that we want. So we'll talk more about that a little later. For now, though, we're going to head over here, talk to Rhea. We'll talk to her until she repeats herself, and unfortunately, her escorts, her friends, have, have gone hollow. So, as you can see, they don't do a heck of a lot of damage. Nothing too crazy. Alright, so, we're going to go ahead and follow this path uh, to the... Actually, let's go talk to Rhea real quick. I forgot she gives us an item. There we go. Uh, we'll be meeting her, by the way, again in the Undead Parish. So follow this path. These things, by the way, have a chance to drop uh, white tight knight. So again, if you're going for divine weapons, that'll be nice to have. Up here we have a hidden path. Take a left and we're going to drop in the hole. Now there, are se there are several enemies down here. I'm going to incite all of them to come near us. Because we're going to do a drop attack against all of them at once. Somehow you avoided it. So did you. Don't worry, I want to avoid that. Okay. We got a soul item down here, and then we got the Arch Ember. We're gonna climb back up. There's a guy who is shooting you with arrows up here. If you are bugged by him that much, you can you can certainly try to kill him. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and just progress. there's an item off to the left here we're going to drop down for. There's another item up here, which is the ones that I pointed out 
a little bit ago. Let's come over here for a soul item. Drop down here for another soul item. these guys again jump attacks work well against them uh, this is going to get us three eyes of death and those are good for the gravelord covenant bear in mind though that you cannot kill Nito. once you kill Nito, we won't be able to progress uh, that stuff until after you new game plus Which Nito is the boss of this place by the way And I grab the soul item and then we're gonna go ahead and head back down and confront our friend patches talk to him say no to him and he's gonna give you a twin humanities next we're gonna head down this path and be aware we have our first dog here kind of see him right there so these things are pretty dangerous um, they have kind of this flailing attack which can basically eat through most of your uh, health so um, you can get behind them. That's going to be the best thing to do is to kind of circle behind them. Uh, you can also two hand and jump attack at them if you're doing enough damage. But I'll be honest with you, um, a lot of times I'm just not able to get them, clo uh, get close enough to them to do it. So. Again, going around them is the most efficient matter in my opinion. So you'll see a bonfire down there. Uh, try not to forget that that's there. We're going to be coming back for that here in a bit. We have to progress a little bit before we have access to it. So there's a guy shooting arrows. There's another one of these uh, dog demons, dog beasts. And then there's also, you want to hold out your shield because there is a... There we go. Silver Knight. This one with a halberd. As before, these guys have a good chance to drop their weapon. I am still not great at these guys' parry. in such a small little area too that I feel like I have to parry him. Okay. Well, didn't get his weapon, but that's okay. We'll be uh, able to farm them a little bit later. So, come off to the side here and you've got some of these. There's that flailing attack. Another one right here. And here's the gigantic skeleton who's shooting you with arrows. Okay. So, um, before we get that item, I want to call out what we're about to do. So, normally we would be going down here. Uh, however, there is an item here as well as a drop here. This is kind of your mile marker for that drop. So, grab this item and then drop, drop off. We have a bunch of these things to kill.
And then this is the Silver Covetous Serpent Ring. So that's going to be really good if you're planning on farming um, souls. And I'm actually going to equip it. So I'm going to make the jump over here. You could go down there if you wanted to, but I'm just going to make the jump here. Nail him with a jumping attack as I land. Or a plunging attack, I guess, technically. Okay. So we're going to head down this way, and this is that bonfire that we caught earlier. We got a white Titanite chunk. Then we have a string of these enemies. A total of three of them. So, I'm going to drop down here for this item. Don't actually have to drop off for it, but it's the way I usually do it. Then we're going to go down here. And now we got this uh, drop here. We're going to head down. Now, if you are not human, uh, go ahead and head back. Grab the bonfire, become human. Because we're going to have another invasion. This one will be Paladin Leroy. In addition, there's also a Crystal Lizard in there. Uh, so we'll make sure to get him here in a moment. But head down this way first. And Leroy will summon. I usually just give him backstab. And a goodbye. Alrighty, so he's dead. Got some humanity as well as his uh, sword and shield. Get in here for... A sad attempt to... Grab a crystal lizard. There you go. Okay, so now you need to make a decision. Um, if you want to try defeating this boss without it, uh, you can. However, there is a ring that we can uh, basically get with a trade that will make us basically undetectable. So um, that would be something that will really be helpful for you for this next boss fight. You can also try taking on this boss without it. So I'm going to leave it to you, but I'm going to go ahead and show you all where to get the ring. With the amount of damage that you're doing right now, you can probably defeat this boss without it, but I'm going to go ahead and head back. So we're going to do go do some trades with Snuggly.
Okay, so the items that we want to have for trades. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our box. Let's see here. So uh, we're we have not yet given an egg vermifuge, so we're gonna go ahead and do that for a dragon scale. Uh, we can also give. A prism stone uh, we can also give a skull lantern so that's going to be beneficial for us uh, going forward so let's go ahead and head over to Snuggly himself. By the way, talk to this guy. Your Highness, I am entirely to blame for this. That you are. So, whatever miracles you want to buy, buy them now. Is what I recommend. So, um, if we do not kill him, once we finish two bosses after him, uh, that will trigger him to kill Rhea. She is currently, she has moved now to the undead um, parish bonfire area. So uh, that's going to be basically inside the cathedral. So she's praying where we found our first firekeeper soul. I'm sorry, technically our second firekeeper soul. So um, I'm actually going to kill him because uh, otherwise he will kill her. However, he does have some humanity to take. So we're going to do that. So he only has two humanity for us. One thing that's also worth uh, mentioning is that uh, the higher ranked your... Uh, ah, your great... No, I was about to say Grave Lord. Your Dark Wraith... Uh, uh, covenant is the more humanity this weapon will get you that being said though they all have basically a limited amount of humanity he only has two because he's not very you know he's not a very good person <laughs> so you're not going to get anything more than that um, I'm going to go ahead and kill him Two more humanity for our troubles. Recommend doing that now while we're here. And then we're going to head in here, head up. If you want to go by her miracles, by the way, she is uh, up that path. Otherwise, though, we are heading back over to the Undead Asylum. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and drop an egg vermifuge. For a dragon scale. We're going to drop a prism stone. That's going to give us another Demon Titanite. And then we're going to go ahead and drop a Skull Lantern. Which is what we really want. So this is the Ring of Fog. This is basically a ring that allows you to... 
lower the distance that enemies can detect you. So we're going to head back. close for a level let's <laughs> 22 so cool all right so I'm gonna go ahead and warp back to tomb of the Giants All right, so we are back. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue up. So, unfortunately, you do have to continue back through this place again, which is the part I don't like about this. This is one of the reasons why I'm like, do you really want to? But I do think this ring will make things a whole lot easier for you. So we're kind of taking the express route at this point. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head in this right section here. got a couple of these on the way now be careful whenever you head down here uh, one of these um, skeletons is going to try to kick you off the ledge here so kind of as you go around make sure to deal with them quickly So as you step in here, there are going to be multiple pinwheels. So um, we're going to kill them first. In addition, there are some uh, fetus enemies that are uh, undead. Pretty, uh, pretty wild. And uh, they can actually inflict toxin on you. So uh, if you are worried about it, you might uh, keep some blooming purple moss clumps. That being said, um, you can avoid them if you are careful. So first and foremost, I'm going to ignore all the items for the moment because I'm going to go ahead and kill all the pinwheels.
Okay. Uh, you may get one of the masks. Typically, you will. So we got a couple of items up here in front of the boss door. Grab a soul item. Uh, I'm going to drop down here. White Titanite Slab. That allows you to get your final upgrade on a... What do you call it? A divine weapon. I'm basically just going to hug kind of the left perimeter here as I go around. And that'll take me back to the entrance. And then right here is another soul item. Hey, there's something else that dropped over there. Did we get the other mask? Hey, somehow we got all the masks. So uh, if you don't get all the masks, you can buy the last ones from... Um... Oh, God. Patches. You can buy from Patches. Anyway, so we're about to head into the boss fight. Uh, a couple of things to worry about. Um, he has this attack that you'll hear basically a scream. And basically, right when you hear the scream, you want to start rolling if you can. Um, at least make sure you're topped off as well, because you will probably get hit at least once. Because there will be basically kind of a sword that comes up through the ground. Uh, in addition, he will have this kind of uh, attack where he gets still, and then he'll explode. So uh, you want to watch out for that. There's also going to be a bunch of skeletons with him as well, but we want to focus on the boss himself, not on the skeletons. In fact, whenever he does the explosion attack, he'll end up killing all the skeletons anyway, but they will eventually keep coming back. So just focus on the boss. Um, I will say if you move from the initial area, uh, you are more likely to get attacked by some of the bigger enemies that uh, will also respawn. So what I recommend with this fight is have the uh, Ring of Fog equipped and just stay in the area that uh, you drop into and let the boss come to you. So beyond that, we can also equip uh, charcoal pine resin. Electrical doesn't really do much extra. Neither does charcoal pine resin. It does a fraction because this boss isn't particularly weak to either. So I'm not gonna bother wasting them on the boss, but if you're trying to squeak out little bits of extra damage, you definitely can. Um, other than that, though, that's pretty much going to be it. It's just basically going to be avoiding his attacks. Uh, he also has some swings, but those are pretty easy to avoid. They also don't do that much damage. His main deadly attacks will be the explosive attack, which you'll want to block for. And then, of course, uh, you'll also want to uh, uh, try to dodge the, uh, the scream, basically, attack, where you get the uh, swords coming up from the, from the, from the ground. Anyway, uh, with that, though... I think that's pretty much going to do it for our stuff. Make sure you are topped off because you're going to take about half of your health in the fall here. And just hang out here. Oh, there's the scream. So again, he'll, they'll come with him. So that attack will grab you. Don't let him do that. That downward pound. Should have dodged that. There's his explosion. And he's dead. 
So not too difficult at our level at this point. And we got the Lord Soul. This is what's required for going to the final boss at this point. But again, we have the DLC to complete, so we'll be doing that in another episode, however. For now, though, we're going to head over to the bonfire. And we're going to warp over to Fire Lake Shrine. So we have wrapped out the Tomb of the Giants at this point. In the next episode, we're going to kind of begin our trek towards the bottom of the Dark Root Basin again, which is actually where we begin our uh, quest into kind of the past. So uh, we'll talk more about that whenever we get to that, but that is going to be the uh, end of this episode, everybody. So thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next one. Later.